It's called, it's called baptism of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And what happened, I kind of I like got away from it. But this right here, this impartial that takes that I got today. Amen. It's going to help me. Amen. To get back on fire. Amen. Because we're leaky vessels. Amen. You go. And I said, I said, God, I said, I go to work and I mean, I just said cussing all day long. I'm like, oh. Right. You know, I can't, I can't get away from it because I'm right. there. I'm in the midst. I'm on a job. And, you know, but it's just, it's, and then you, it's like what I said, we leave these vessels and, and stuff you see, stuff you go through, and you get happy and you push it down, push it down, push it down. That's but we problem. need this. I need this. Hallelujah. When I start seeing the Holy Spirit fall on you, this I'm like, Lord, just let me let me just get it. Let me just get out of my flesh and just get ugly for God. And, you know, and I thank God for the move of God. But the main thing what the Lord was ministering to me about was my children. Because he had already struck me and said, look, your, your children need the Holy Ghost before they leave your house. Yeah, yeah. You know, they need it. Y'all going to go to college, they're going to That's go to right. school. You're going to need to keep them. Hallelujah. We're going to need to keep them. Something keep Thank us. You. Amen. And then I, I kind of hate that my daughters won't hear them. I'll say, what, maybe we part two. Right. Amen. <laughs> but I tell you, because, because um, uh, we, we pray with them, we, we, we minister to them and stuff like that. But, you know, there's, there's different levels and different realms that they need to tap into. And, and we ourselves, by money, we have, my wife and I, we ain't bachelor, but we ain't, we, Not we, used to be. we ain't where we used to be. Amen. And when you ain't where you used to be, where you're supposed to be, you can't take the children back. So I thank God for the word of it because it's supposed to be generational, amen. Generational. And what was on it, I know they got some of it. My, my old two kids probably got some of it. I know they got, they got a little glimpse, a little taste of it. Because I, I used to blow your knees. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember that? No, we don't remember that. I'm like, man, y'all remember that? You know, so I sometimes take a video and let them see the video. But but the transfer of anointing, so for me to see you transfer to your kids, that's what the Lord been telling me to do. You need to do that. okay, that's what you need to do. That's right. It's very important that you receive, amen, what's on your father and your mother. Very important. And it's in my heart, said, Lord, I got, I got, I got to get some kind. I got to get back in the place with you. I can, I can just, because we've done it. Mm -hmm. We've laid hands, we medicine people, and watched them see the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You know, but we want to get back into that place. And I thank God for the day, Amen. For um, uh, uh, for just jump starting. I say, Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm living now in expectation for more. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. But um, as Pastor was preaching, I was thinking about when I was on the boat and we were going to see Niagara Falls and how you're in the boat and they put all this stuff on you, you know. And I don't know if anybody has done that, but either way, you can only go so close to the falls because you just can only go so close. And, you know, as I was thinking about it and thinking about the limitations that we put on ourselves, I saw us kind of in the boat and, you know, we're getting closer and closer. But we get to the place where it's like they're saying you can't go any closer because this is as close as we can do it and be safe. But with God, it's still safe. And so that we have to be able to say we're not afraid to go further than what we were going before. And so my prayer is that you'll just, even as, if you can think of it as a visual, because I tend to be a visual a little bit more, is that, you know, you, you're, you can go through the falls and let the falls really overtake you. And it won't hurt you. It, it might feel different. It'll feel kind of weird because for me, I don't usually like that kind of thing because <laughs> it, it's, it, I don't have control. And, you know, I think what it is is that, you know, God wants to take more control. And so it's nice to have the sprinkle and you can control that. You know, you control, <laughs> control, you know, even when you get, you know, and you have the, the umbrella and all that kind of stuff. There's all those things that you control. But when you're actually going through and actually in the fall, then that's something that you can't control because even if you had an umbrella, it's going to break. Even if you had, you know, yourself covered with whatever, you know, you're probably still going to have some kind of impact from the the, the downfall stuff. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. We praise God for His Spirit, don't we? Amen. Amen. Anyone else have anything? Anyone else have anything you want to say? Anybody? No pressure. Just want to give opportunity. Anybody else want to say anything? Amen. We're preparing to leave. God bless you in his name. Let's stand. I promise you, Brother Tyrone, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give my normal disclaimers. I'm sorry. Sometimes we speak in different languages. Sometimes we move around sporadically. Um, sometimes we do all kinds of stuff. We don't know what we're going to do. Hallelujah. Um, but it's all God and it's all Him. Amen. Amen. Let's not let this moment stop here. Um, but as you leave, continue in prayer. 
continue seeking God. And the text says, he that has begun a good work in you, he will perform it to the day of Jesus Christ. And Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. And so let God continue what he started in you. There's so much God wants to do in us. There's so much God wants to do in us. As Lady said, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. There's deeper that God wants to take you. There's greater experiences God wants to give you. Or when I was coming up, we used to, and it's a shame because we don't have the stories as much. We don't tell the stories as much as we used to. But in the old school, the old things you told about how they were in their house, they were washing dishes, and all of a sudden mm -hmm. the power of the Holy Ghost yes. will come and fill them right there. And I, I apologize to young people that we don't often set those expectations for yeah. you like we used to. Um, that they, we'd be driving in our cars. Well, my kids know how I am. Driving in our cars, and all of a sudden you drive and see the power of God just comes in the, in the car, right? <laughs> You know, the Holy Ghost doesn't just live inside the little church building. But the Holy Ghost, he, he shows up anywhere he wants to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are we telling stories right now? <laughs> but but he, and I really hope, as Apostle said, that we are imparting to this next generation the magnitude, a greater magnitude than what we receive. Yes. As I often say to you, it is not faith for you to have a nice house. You've seen me have it. Right? Faith is the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things that are not seen, right? If you have seen it, then where is the faith, right? And so what has been imparted to me was imparted to me by my great grandfather with a third grade education. Third grade education. If we were in his church, probably with a little exaggeration, we'd probably still be reading because he read really slowly. And we sat there through it. And we learn, and I listen to him preach almost the same message every Sunday. But he had one good message that he preached, and it was long enough. He preached it long enough and consistently enough that it's still in me. And it was enough to make me a believer. Right? But what I have not done is taken that seed and said, here, God, here's that seed I've got. But I've taken the seed that was delivered to me and cultivated it and grew it and studied, etc. And now I hope that I have produced some fruit um, that is worthy to be connected to that seed that he imparted to me. What you receive is not third grade education. Preaching. And the truth of the matter is that what you don't want to do is come back and present back to us the same thing we've imparted to you. But now you've got to take what we're imparting to you. And so if you look at me and say, you know what? That's all right. I, if I was me, I'd be mean, I hope that you do better. Mm -hmm. I hope that like, that was me. Oh my goodness, the anointing would have lived You know what? I hope the anointing does all that stuff y'all wanted to do. And I will sit back and clap in the phone and say, God, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Our expectation is not for you to copy of us. The expectation is that you would go further and do greater. Mm -hmm. Go further and do greater. Master this stuff that we're showing you and teaching you. Learn how to shift atmosphere. Right? Master that. And then, in your generation, go terribly beyond that. Right? But in this generation, just among us, we can tell you about healing, we can tell you about casting out devil, we do all that stuff. Imagine what you're going to do in your generation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine what y'all will do in your generation. 